What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and today we have another very special guest on the program, the co-host of the Starting Nine podcast, sideline reporter, baseball analyst for NBC Sports up in Oakland, and one of only 23 pitchers in the history of the damn game to go 27 up and 27 down, my man Dallas Lee Braden. What's up, dude? Plouffe, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great. I appreciate you coming on. We've been talking for a little bit, trying to get you on here, and today uh, ended up working out. I want to ask you, like, give us your pitch mix. So pitch mix is four-seamer, two-seamer, cutter, slider, and a couple different change-ups, you know, and a screwball. And I think it's important to, to note this, though. The two-seamer is something I would tell myself or I would call a sinker, and that was because okay. I mentally – needed to trick myself into throwing a pitch that was going to get the result I was after. And I I don't know that I could get that with a two-seam fastball, but you could get that with a sinker, okay. right? So it's kind of how I would trick my – I was lying to myself. <laughs> and and the slider, the slider was so that I would continue to utilize fastball arm speed and fastball hand speed. Because if I would tell myself curveball, I would slow everything down. Because I had a, I had a, I had a nice banger in high school, and I, I mean that's why I got drafted out of high school was because my curveball. But that went away when I discovered the screwball in junior mm. college. I picked up a, I picked up a ball and threw it into the net in JUCO and had a funky grip on it, and was like, whoa, how did that happen? What's the screwball and, grip? Is it a circle change ish? Is it a? Um, what you got, no, man? it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm looking. Just hold, hold tight. Let me get a fast. Let me get a baseball. All right, all right, right. Screwball is not something you see too often, uh, but you got to love that. Dallas is scrounging around looking for a ball. He's got one there. He's back. All right. So uh, the the cha- change up, you know, is more here, yeah. a four seam change up. And then you can go with a two seam change up as well mm-hmm. and start moving that guy around. But then the screwball is – Getting, getting on the inside of the baseball. Whoa. So it's with the middle finger. Are you pronating like that? So not, not until release. So with the middle finger, I'm pulling down. And then with the index finger, I'm pulling this seam as well. And so at, at release, it's just a, a flick of the wrist and then a manipulation of the fingers and that's what gets you that, you know, it's almost like a right-handed slider spin. You get a dot. And mm. there are certain things that, that, you know, I can do with the ball to bounce it on the ground or throw it up in the air to tell me that I'm getting the spin that I'm looking for. All right. Uh, let's let's get to the at-bat. I love that we're talking shop here. I could talk baseball all damn day. All day, dude. All and, day. And lately, it's been we haven't had a lot of baseball to talk about, so this is nice. Um, this is a game in 2009, and I believe I read that you were the A's opening day starter in 2009. Is that correct? True story. Yes. How did, I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. In yeah, itself, yeah, right no, there. Ask that first question. Ask the first question you wanted to ask. How in the hell? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I wasn't asked that. What, no, like, yeah, absolutely. What, how did uh, it Justin come about? Dukesher, I, Justin Dukesher, uh got hit by a bus, and and that's how I – no, he, he, had, uh, he had hip surgery. And for those who don't know who Justin Dukesher is, put some respect on that man's name. Look him up. We're talking about an all-star starter, all-star reliever. Mm. Uh, the man did work, okay? And he did work from the right side, you know, below hitting speed, which is not an easy task. Okay. But he had some hip issues, and that put me in a position, barring my health, to take the ball on opening day. So that's, awesome. that, that's how that happened. I mean – Nobody can ever take that away from you. You know, I, it was, it's such it an great. honor to start opening day. Even as a no, position player, just getting in the lineup is awesome. But to be a pitcher starting is really cool. It's 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 one of those feathers in the cap, man. No That's doubt. That's right. So you uh, here? We're in Texas, which is a tough place to pitch already. It's a launching pad. And this mm. is the old Texas. We're going to see how the new uh, stadium out there plays this year. But this one was a launching pad. And I was going through a bunch of the abs. You're like locked in this April. I don't know what the numbers were, but you aren't missing many spots here in all the at-bats that I've seen. Yeah, I'm uh, early on. You know, Texas being a division opponent as well and knowing what kind of lineup that I was facing early on, uh, especially early in my career, those guys were – it was a salty vet lineup. 
knowing what the ballpark was going to play oh, yes. like, like and knowing what kind of stuff i did not have ploofy <laughs> this better, lineup is stacked yeah better be on point man all right so here we go it's two outs we have the bottom of the third again we're facing michael young here let's start this video up check it out we're gonna see a young baby a young baby dallas on the hill right there we got no hair no beard i don't know what you what do you got going is that a little little goat uh, action a, yeah a little goat a little goat piece <laughs> a little goaty <laughs> Just a little bit, just a little bad baby goat. And there's that bad man in, at the plate, Michael Young. Mm. And you can already see, I mean, I, it's the camera angle maybe, but he's fucking angled the right center, right? Yeah, there. he's like, hey, look, everything <laughs> you're gonna throw right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your second baseman for a fucking ride out to out to that right gap. That's gonna happen. All right. <laughs> so first pitch here, you're the kind of guy that can go anywhere. Um, let's see what we got. Setting up in. Boom. Banged it down, and then you like that call. Early in, because now I've given myself the opportunity to expand away if I want to get him out away, or I've allowed him to know, hey, I can come in here not only for a strike, but I can come in here off if I need to as well. Just know that I've already told you that I'm present on the inside. You know my game plan. You know I'm going to work away at some point in time. But when do we get there? How do we get there? Well, let's find out. What's What's cool about that that mindset, and I'm thinking now as a hitter in the box, it's like you think to yourself, I don't really need to worry about in when I'm facing a guy uh, like you. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, I can react to the fastball. But the truth of the matter is when you're expanding the zone like that, now you're going to you know open up the away side, you're throwing the change-ups, you're maybe changing speeds on fastball, that 80 – Six to eighty nine plays up. Dude. Well, and 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 against a guy like Michael Young, his approach maybe my third bet, or which is undoubtedly my third best pitch, uh, the slider. I'm not going to lay that in there and try to throw a first pitch quality strike with that to him because that's soft coming to him, lefty on righty, and mm. he that's going to be up and fat for him to you know maybe he wants to let it travel and really spin on it or maybe he wants to maybe he wants to shoot it the other way which he's really good at doing like, yeah. I, I don't want to give him that opportunity all right let's go second pitch here coming back inside right here huh yeah second pitch we're gonna double up Ooh, that's a little slide piece huh yes yes trying to go no it's it's a, that's at 82 so that's a little I'm, I'm trying to cut the baseball just trying to work it in off see if i can get some kind of swing so now i see his feet move mm-hmm I like that. As far as that ball kind of ended up off, I think it was a good take by him because he kind of tunneled that last pitch, mm -hmm. the heater in with that slider in, and uh, unfortunately he saw it, but a good pitch. Yeah, well, and that's why I say I, I like to see his feet move for me yeah. because uh, now he's, you know, he's not necessarily buying into one or the other. Okay. All right, here we go. So 1-1, one, one, you can go anywhere here. And it looks like we are back in. I love this right here. With the slide step. Slide step, heater. We got guy on first base. I think it's Marlon Bird. Um, not too worried about him going anywhere. But yeah. the idea there, again, staying hard because I know he knows I'm going to throw a changeup. At some point in time, <laughs> he's going to get the changeup. So with a guy like Michael Young, it's almost like, I know he's already that one pitch ahead of me. How do I utilize my next move to, to almost make two moves in one where I catch up to him, but then pass him as well in this chess game. And I'm not going to give in to him and go soft. No, to hell with that. I'm going to stay hard. I'm going to make him a judge because right now it looks like he's fighting off, fighting off, fighting mm -hmm. off. He's not ready or anticipating that fastball. He's looking to adjust to something soft. I agree. You can totally see that. Um, and I like that you said that. Like, you could tell that he's late on the well, heater a, because he's, he's, he's looking for that changeup or an off-speed pitch. It's a defensive hack on a fastball yes. against a guy who's throwing 86, 87. I've been there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two now. Now you, you can open your bag of tricks at wherever you want to go. But it looks like yep. you're continuing to go inside here. Yeah, and this plays back into the, yeah, yeah, back. Oh, you're getting booed. Boo. <laughs> Got to control the running game. Some people like to say that they control the running game. That's cute. I eliminated the running Mark game. Mark Burley, 
is your guy. Mark that's, Burley. That's a great example of that. Mark Burley, Andy Pettit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So again, want to want to keep it in the. Oh. Oh. We got to go back there. Hold on. I wasn't ready for that. Oh. All right. He got away with it. So leading. Forget up you to saw that, people. <laughs> one, leading two. up to this, yeah. one two. We've stayed what hard three times, right? Yes. He hasn't seen that change yet. So, in this count, one two. I'm gonna go wrinkle here, or, or do we not tell him? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, man. They already so, saw it. Screw so that one up. So we're trying. So we're trying to back foot it. I I get away with a mistake here, and in this my is a change up. No, this is not a change. Okay. Roll it. Let the people see. I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to see this. You're going to see this slide piece. This. Oh. That was gross, right? That was below average at best. Look at this thing. Just a spinner up. And and look at where he's at. He's almost like tied up with it. He is. You, you, you jammed him, tied him up with the slide piece. Right. With an elevated, just gross slide piece. Gross as in not good. It was not, not good. And... It's because he sees it soft out of the hand and he's expecting that pitch right there to continue to fade arm side. He's not thinking mm. that he's getting my third best pitch with two strikes. There's no way he's getting my third best pitch with two strikes, right? So that's I part of that. That's part of me trying to stay one step ahead or having to make two moves to every one that he's making because he's so damn good. So it's like, all right, I roll the dice here and try to back foot him with my third best pitch because worst case scenario, if I execute, he swings and misses or best case scenario for him, if I've done my job still, he foul, he pulls this into pulls foul territory, right? And we're still at one, two, and now I can try to heat him up inside, still not giving in and giving him the soft stuff. Or now I make the decision to go my best versus your best right here, right now. And, and that's what being able to execute with my third best pitch would have done for me. But I mean, there I get away with one, so I don't have to continue in that sequence. Yes. But, but those are the moves that ensue if I'm not able to get him out. This is what you're talking about. So right about here, Mike's picking up this ball and you're saying, you guys have faced each other a ton before this. Yeah. So he's expecting change up. Yes. At some point. Yes. Right about here, he's like, okay, this ball is gonna come. It's going to come down, it's going to fade away arm side, and I'm going to drive it to, you know, right field, right center, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But as we get here, and you're going to notice how he is tied up on this pitch, right? There. Yeah. Look at how far back, look, look where the barrel's at. He's not ready for that pitch. It's tying him up, like you said. It's so because you, I, I think at that moment that you pause it, where he processes that that is now starting to come to him it's you know mm -hmm. he, pro he processes that it's soft and it's up and it's a and it it's away at the moment so his brain and his body tells him everything that's correct most of the time which is hammer this soft shit the other way but it just continued to spin just enough towards him where it tied him up and that i mean i got away with one <laughs> i got I away with it one. you could you could tell he was just like uh-oh He's like, what happened? Not to this guy. He, well, he he recognized it way too late, right there. I mean, yep. which is a testament to the kind of how you uh, set him up right there, how you were hiding the ball and you tunneled some pitches. He had no chance. No. So, Sorry, Dallas, Mike. you demand this. This is a bat number one. Yes. We're bringing you back on for a bat number two, which is from a very special day in your career. Um, thank you for all the helpful tidbits, the insight. All the kids love this shit. So. Um, you put on a master class there and how to pitch. So we thank you. Yes, yes. All right, we'll see you guys back for a bat number two.